Jurassic World, powered by Eggman's. What is up guys, Milik here, and today we are back in action playing some Jurassic World, and it's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it, and help me out tremendously. Uh, so, I've been doing a lot of Pneumatocraft stuff, and I don't know if you guys enjoy Pneumatocraft, but I've been enjoying... Uh, the crap out of this so far. Uh, so I made a bunch of capacitors and transistors and uh, PCBs here. Um, our actual uh, plastic factory has been working out pretty well. I told it to make a stack of cyan, a stack of black, and then I got about a half a stack of green before it started slowing down. Um, but yeah, I made some speed upgrades for all these guys, and then these guys have speed upgrades uh, themselves, and they, they've been... Pumping out some PZBs and doing all that kind of cool stuff. Let's go ahead and throw all, the, all this stuff in here. There we go. Um, so what I want to do is I actually finally uh, want to get these flux uh, compressors up and going. And uh, like I explained before, they use RF and they actually uh, are pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. Uh, now what I want to see is can I make this guy... Uh, yes, 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 yes. So I'm gonna make a crap ton of turbine rotors. There we go. We got all the turbine rotors. Uh, we want to make uh, some furnaces. Let's go ahead and make those guys. Boom. Uh, and then we need some blocks of redstone. Let's just go ahead and make a crap ton of this. There. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then, and then, I think that is absolutely everything we need except for this guy right here. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of those. There we go. I am out of compressed iron, which is completely fine. Uh, and then we need some advanced pressure tubes. So let me come down here and grab our tubes. Another good thing about the thing we did last time is it allows me to advance in pneumatic craft a lot more than what we were previously. So yeah, we're making a crap ton of tubes right now. Let me go ahead and get those un unassembled PCBs. Let's head back up top. And we should be able to make as many of these guys as we need. Um... Now, I'm going to test that. I don't know how good they are. We're going to kind of test them out and uh, see how well they play. Uh, but I'm hoping I'm only going to need, like, one of these, like, per, like, I guess, machines. Like, one of these per uh, things. But I might end up needing more. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead. I think uh, we want to do the printed circuit board. So, boom. Uh, we got 10. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get the unassembled PCBs. Boom. And then there we go. Okay. So, it looks like we made plenty of transistors and capacitors. So, now... Yes. Yes, we have eight flux capacitors. Yes. Okay, so I have some elite universal cables right here. Um, now, I can use the advanced pressure tubes, but the thing is, is these guys only accept up to five bars of pressure, so I figured I might as well just use this guy right here. Now, I don't know if this is going to go over the limit. We might have to install safety upgrades, but I'm hoping it can stay at five and just maybe max out at five. Or maybe this can have an internal pressure that's higher than what this can carry. I'm not. I'm still not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and disconnect this right here. Boom. Uh, then we want to... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, uh, these guys right here. All of the tubing we are going to get... To, oh, no. That is not what I want to do. No, 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 no. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Let, oh, no. Look at all the... Cre oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, let me... Let me free... I just want to be free. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> that was that was a horrible experience. That was an absolute horrible experience. Okay, so it looks like it can only plug into the top. I'm pretty sure anyways, and which is completely fine. This is fine. I was going to have this hidden, but, you know, we have this room back here, so we might as well see some wires. Everyone likes to see a little bit of wires. Now, I re-logged. I'm not sure exactly why it's been doing this, uh, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and take a ta Tesseract right here. Boom. Tesseract, we're going to say um, Tiger's Power. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to say Meaty Power. Uh, then we are going to say receiving none of this stuff. Okay, so this should. This has power now, right? Okay, so it's generating stuff. Okay, yes, 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 yes. And all of this should be going up, hopefully, anyways. I think. Uh, temperature is increasing. Okay. So everything seems to be working decently well. 
I hope anyways. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, I guess I'm going to start changing this out and I will be back here in a second. Okay, guys are back. So I've been playing with this a little bit. I've actually taken all of this down um, and you guys will see why. So we've been using uh, vortex tubes and we just now moved on to this, but we haven't actually been getting rid of the heat very well. Now the vortex tubes are actually supposed to heat up and cool down things, uh, but you have to use things that like heat sinks to actually cool them down even more and make them more efficient and stuff like that. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So let me go ahead and grab, I'm going to grab some vortex tubes right here. Uh, we're going to stick some vortex tubes. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's do uh, some of this, some of this, uh, some of this, and then some of this. Now we can use, let me go ahead and grab these blocks of compressed iron. We can use these compressed iron as kind of like um, heat conductors. Uh, so they will conduct heat. So let me go ahead. I'm going to stick these guys right here in the middle. So we have one giant heat sink right here. Uh, so now to help even cool the heat sink a little bit more, we can use actual heat sinks. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some heat sinks on this guy. Heat sinks right here. Uh, so this this hopefully, hopefully should help a little bit. I hope anyways. Um, so we're just building one giant heat sink. So this should passively cool everything. So the temperature right now is 20 two degrees uh, so let's go ahead and start powering this so I'm gonna stick I guess that right there uh, we could even bring the heat sink up if we wanted which we might do uh, I'm just kind of testing things right now uh, so yeah then let's go ahead and start powering this guy so we're gonna do a little bit of this action boom boom and then we're gonna bring this all the way over here and these guys are gonna start uh, producing air pressure just like we saw before so let me go ahead and bring this up a little bit more Boom, there we go. Awesome. Uh, then I made a crap ton of heat sinks. So, so we can basically just plaster the heat sinks like absolutely everywhere. So let's just do uh, like some of this. Let me get rid of this guy. And we want to do, yeah, there we go. So we just have one giant heat sinks. I kind of like this feature actually. It's really, really neat. Um, okay, so this, oh, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so this should, uh, if I'm right, if I'm doing this correct, so the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. Let's go and add, I guess, three uh, speed upgrades. We're gonna do one security upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead and do another security upgrade. Three speed upgrades. Uh, boom, okay, so three speed upgrades, uh, one security upgrade, and then uh, let's come over here and do the same thing. Now this might be, actually, I might not be using these correctly. Um, I went and looked at uh, uh, other people set up on the server, and they actually don't have two of these going into one, so I might actually have to spread this out a little bit farther and uh, play with it a little bit more. And it looks like it's actually not passively cooling this as well as I thought it would. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they actually are all doing their thing. Now this actually isn't going to start cooling until we provide it with air pressure. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we are going to, hmm, so this can accept 20, so we can go ahead and hook these guys up like this, yes, 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 uh, then let me go ahead and uh, re-grab this guy, boom, uh, we are going to grab all of the vortex tubes, and then let me do something like that, okay, yes, okay, sweet, uh, now these guys are hooked up, uh, looks like this is not hooked up, let me go ahead and do this, and then let's re-hook this guy up. Oh, nope, nope. That's not what I want to do. Okay, so now they're receiving air pressure, so these should be actively cooling. The, anyways, yeah, they should be. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe I need to actually bring the vortex over here. Uh, boom. Yes, okay, so now this should be actively cooling it. I hope anyways, right? Uh, anyways, I'll work on the cooling a little bit later after we play with it a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to bring these advanced tubes. Uh, and I want to start a advanced tube line all the way in the back right here. So what we could do is we can just uh, maybe just bring this out. Yeah, we'll bring this out all the way like so. And then we'll have one giant advanced tube in, in line right here in the back. Uh, and then when we need to connect it up to something like this, we can put a valve on it. Um, so I'll show you guys exactly how that uh, works here in a second. Uh, then we'll work on our passive cooling. I just want to get one giant line right here. So if I, let me go ahead and get rid of this guy. Boom. Um, we are going to hook up this. And then I'm going to take these guys, these uh, regulator tube modules. Uh, we're going to stick that right there. And then I think, let's see, what is this? So threshold uh, 7.5. Okay, we're back. So I've been working on this monstrosity. Um, I think it looks pretty sick. It almost looks like an engine. 
Uh, we got heat sinks going all the way up. Each of these guys have their own separate heat sinks. I've actually noticed connecting these guys together actually reduces the efficiency. Uh, so I, I actually connect them all the way up, but it reduces the efficiency. So I kept this one right here just for aesthetics. I like the one at the bottom right there. But every single one of these guys, if you notice, if we right-click cl right on it, it's negative 33 Celsius. Uh, so before, we, we were increasing the temperature. Now we're decreasing the temperature. Uh, so it should make these guys run even better, I'm pretty sure. Um... Because I don't think they need heat. I'm not, I, I'm pretty, I'm almost positive they don't need heat. Uh, right now we have 3.2 bars of pressure. And if we come all the way over here, you'll see I've put on these regulator tubes. Now I put redstone onto them. So uh, it regulates, it only allows it to pass 4.5 bars of pressure all the way up. Now we could extend the redstone out one more and let it do 5 bars of pressure. Uh, but I thought 4.5 is probably enough. Now, these guys are slowly building internally. And this isn't quite as fast as at what I thought it was. Uh, but right now, it's using, let's see, each one of these guys are using, like, almost 500 RF a tick. It, it looks like, or they're using, um, actually, they're using 233 RF a tick. Um, so every speed upgrade you put in here, uh, they double. So right now, this is using 400. Uh, so what we're going to do ov uh, slowly over time is once we upgrade our power system, we'll just add more speed upgrades to these guys and make them faster. Now, uh, based on our cooling right now, we it should be fine if we add more upgrades, but I think the more upgrades we add, the hotter it gets. So we might have to actually expand this cooling going all the way up. Now, what I was thinking, since these guys uh, automatically kind of heat, we could actually move some of these machines over here and use the heat from these right here to actually uh, kind of passively heat up these. Now, what I want to test out is uh, we are going to, this has uh, 16 millibuckets of oil in it. Let's go ahead and get rid of this right here. Boom. Uh, and then we can get, I'm going to get rid of these guys right here. Boom. And then we're going to stick this right here and then we're going to see how hot it gets okay so it is heating up it's not heating up quite like super fast but it is heating up so this automatically just gives us like 40 some degrees of heat now what i want to check to see if does this okay so it looks like that actually out counts as a passive uh let's see negative 40 uh 53 negative 50 uh, negative 40 and then also these will cool more the more pressure they actually get over time So the more we can upgrade these the more these guys will cool. It's all about the heat dissipation though at that point um, So as you can see they also turn red depending on like how hot they are going down So I thought that was kind of cool as well. So negative 53 Negative uh, 51 so it looks like this is actually heating this guy up. So we're at 43 degrees now Of course, we'll probably actually have to heat this up Maybe a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but that might be kind of a thing that we do in the future. Uh, and it'd be kind of cool to just kind of like have this go sideways like this and do its thing. Yeah, yeah. I might work on this off camera. Anyways, uh, that's what we've been working on. Uh, comment down below if you guys have any tips or tricks for this. I think the system is really dynamic and it seems really, really neat. I'm excited about playing with this kind of off camera and in the future as we uh, move along. Um, so our system is a lot more simplified, but it is kind of more complicated at the same time. I think it looks really, really nice. This guy looks sweet. Uh, then I'm going to have to end up moving all this stuff, and then we'll probably end up uh, passively cooling all of these vortex tubes and stuff like that, too. Um, so, yeah, anyways, uh, what I want to do is I actually got some name suggestions for the Brachiosaurus. Um, so, there was three name suggestions. There was Littlefoot, there was Ned, and then there was Todd? No, I may maybe. Uh, anyways, apparently Ned, I looked it up, apparently Ned is like some kind of like action figure something something it's like a toy it's like an interactive toy thing i'm not exactly sure uh but <laughs> unless they were talking about something else but yeah there we go we have ned the brachiosaurus um i didn't really want to name him littlefoot just because uh littlefoot is kind of a weird name even though that is the land before time um and i love the land before time as a kid but yeah there we go we have ned the brachiosaurus well uh, that's awesome Freaking amazing. Uh, now, uh, what else I want to do today is I made some Emmy controllers. I, I didn't, I need to make some more uh, pure uh, Fluix crystal, but I was thinking um, we could probably get a rid of this right here. Or maybe, I guess it doesn't even really matter. We, we need to start making like an ME area. Um, so I was thinking the center of this is right here. Boom. Uh, let's get about three away from this. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, then we want to do something like this. 
Let me let me get my thing. So I only have so many ME controllers, but I want to start doing this. Uh, so I, I was thinking maybe like a 5x5 five five would probably be good. Yeah, 5x5 five five would probably be good. We don't really need the full 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some of this action. There we go. So all we got to do is get some, make some more ME controllers, uh, make this a 5x5, five five, hook it up to the ME, and then we can start bringing channels off of this guy. So this would be like the ME channel room. Then I was thinking right across here uh, could be our storage drive array room. So we can move the storage from up there to down here. And we can start doing like ME sub networks and stuff like that. Okay, so I've done a little bit more stuff. Um, I moved these guys. I made two sets of refineries, and they're both making all the all the stuff that I need. Uh, then I have one of these guys doing their thing, and then one of these guys is perfectly fine to fully heat this guy up pretty decently. Um, and then I actually have the cold side going back into this, so it's actually providing passing passive cooling for this guy right here. Uh, which in turn make, makes this guy run a little bit colder. As you can see, we're at negative 269. And then right here, we're at negative 270. So yeah, they're both they're both uh, doing their thing. And then all of my pressure chambers are actually at four, four and a half bars right now, which is really sweet. Let's go ahead and look at this guy. Yeah, so uh, the pressure right here is seven bars. And then right here is four and a half bars. So like it's been working out perfectly and then what the pressure we have right now going out through the system is amazing and this all looks nice and clean and way better than it before now i guess off camera i'm gonna continue setting this guy up i thought before we end the episode let's go ahead and do another dinosaur real quick um and then you guys can come up with some awesome name suggestions we'll see how it uh, everything turns out um so i need to actually move all the dinosaur stuff down there as well uh but i was thinking maybe we could do hmm, what could we do you know, actually, uh, we did we have done Carnotaurus before, but I was thinking, uh, let's go ahead and do a couple Carnotauruses. We can get these guys back, and then let me go ahead and fill these guys up with water, uh, and we should. We should be perfect. Now, let me go ahead and be like, one, two, three, and then we will stick all of these guys inside of there. There we go. We are cultivating. Uh, let me go ahead and do this guy right here, too. One, and then uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of these guys. So, I will pause it. I'll be back, and then uh, we will hatch these guys. It'll be awesome. Yes, we have two Carnos. Yes. Awesome. Look at this. So we have a male, and we have a male. So we have two male Carnos, and they both actually look really, really cool. Look at these guys. They're like red to green to like... I don't know, some kind of pale and green color. They look really, really cool. So you have two baby Cardos. Uh, I'm probably not going to stick them up there for right now, as I'm going to I'm gonna leave them right here. Hopefully they don't fall off to their death. That would be really bad. Uh, but I'm still working on this right here. So yeah, it's still a work in progress. Hopefully by next episode, uh, I'll have all this completed. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, next episode... Uh, should be the last pneumatic craft that concerns this kind of stuff. We might get into drones soon, uh, since we actually have a pretty good, um, actual pressure system. So yeah, that's probably coming soon. Um, I would say we're mostly done with this kind of things and that kind of stuff. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.